Have you ever wondered how to paint a buffalo plaid? It's easier than you think and I'm gonna walk you through the steps. Hi, I'm Mandy with Sugar Bee Crafts and we're gonna talk all about how to paint buffalo plaid. Let's talk about how to paint buffalo plaid. It's easier than you think. You're gonna need three different paint colors, a light, a medium, and a dark. Start with your light color and go ahead and paint your surface completely with a light color. If you would like full coverage, you might wanna use two coats. If you want more of a rustic look, you might wanna paint it more of a dry brush so that you can see the wood grain through it. Once it's dry, we're going to start taping. You'll wanna use tape that's two inches wide. When you use the one inch wide tape, the pattern is just really busy, um, depending on the size of your project, but I prefer the wider painter's tape. Start on one edge, line it up, and really push your paint down well, or your tape down well. Next, you're gonna use another piece of tape as a spacer. You could measure, but it's so much easier just to put a piece of tape as um, a spacer in between. Then put another piece of tape, push it down, then you can move your spacer. See how you didn't have to measure that space? You use the tape to do that. So again, space and then your line of tape. Make sure you press your tape down, then use your medium color or your mid color and paint those stripes. Be careful on the edges of the tape. You don't want your paint to seep under. You can um, use a blotting motion and make sure not to push the tape under or push the paint under the tape. And you'll go ahead and paint all the areas that are still exposed. Let it dry. Once it's dry, go ahead and peel back that tape and you will see that you now have stripes on your project. Just what we want. Turn your project so that the stripes are going the other direction and now you're going to tape perpendicular to those stripes. Again, use a spacer to mark the space. Then push down the tape that you're putting on as you do stripes the other direction. Now, you are going to paint again after you have taped off your pattern. This time you are going to use the same color of paint, that same medium color on your project. I like to make sure my paint strokes are going in the same direction. So here, I am kind of pushing into the tape, but I'm trying just to dab on the edges of the tape and then paint in between. So you're going to cover all the area that is not taped off. Next up, leave your tape on. Do not remove it at this point. You can see the dark and light stripes from the first round, and we're going to use that to put tape back over the lighter area. You can eyeball it. I did not use a spacer this time because as you can see here, you can kind of tell where the lines are. So just look closely and then cover up the lighter areas. Now you're going to use the darkest color in your buffalo plaid pattern. You are going to paint the squares that are still exposed. Again, use a dabbing motion on the edges of the tape to help it not bleed through. And if you are going for a full coverage look, you might want to use a couple of coats. If you're going for more of a rustic look, you can um, leave some parts showing through. All right, let it dry. This is the funnest part. Look, the grand reveal. There it is, your buffalo plaid. It is looking awesome. Way to go, great job. I sanded the edges. I also sanded the whole board, although you can't see it in this part of the video. Go ahead, because I like it kind of roughed up, but it's up to you. If you want it solid, you don't have to sand it. Now that you know how to paint buffalo plaid, you can make super cute signs like this one. Remember, I'm Mandy with Sugar Bee Crafts. You can find me on my blog or here on YouTube. Lots more fun crafty tutorials coming your way.